Welcome back, my friends, to another episode. I am back in Santa Barbara, back at home, and for the past week, we have been in Sayulita, Mexico, designing what's going to become the next International James and Jess Retreat. And if you've been following along here on YouTube or on Instagram, thank you. You've seen some of the things we get to create. And tomorrow's episode is all about the styled sessions, the mock-up weddings we made, the bride and groom, and running through Sayulita, and the villa we rented, and it's going to be just a taste of what the retreat is going to be like. So if you're interested in that retreat, go ahead and drop a comment below. Let me know. I'll put you on that waiting list because we're going to announce it soon and it's going to be so much fun. We're going to teach so many things and who doesn't want to travel internationally to get an international portfolio under your belt, hang out with some of the best creatives in the world and like-minded people. And I am super excited to announce that officially. And if you're brand new to this channel, welcome. My name is James Witte. My wife, Jess, and I have I've been wedding photographers full time for me a decade and for my wife 15 years now. We have been fortunate enough to photograph over 350 weddings internationally. We've been named number one wedding photographers by California Wedding Day. And now we get to travel the world. We get to chat on YouTube with like minded creatives like you helping other photographers, other creative entrepreneurs like yourself thrive in business and in life. And today I'm super excited to dive into something that for a long time terrified me if I'm gonna be honest it was one of those things that I knew as a wedding photographer as a portrait photographer I needed to do it was always in the back of my head but it was always scary and today I just want to introduce you to something that years later I had a breakthrough and it's actually changed our business so I just want to get your feet wet in this subject if you will and today we're talking about albums and I am a big fan of albums and they used to be the scariest thing to me and today specifically just to whet your appetite I just want to teach you how we design albums I want to introduce you to my favorite software it's free I also want to introduce you to my favorite album creator it's free to have an account with them too they actually created the software I use. It's all integrated. It's a seamless process. And so today I want to introduce you to the Kiss Books designer and album creator Kiss Books. You can find them at kiss.us. If you don't have an account yet, hit the link below or go to kiss.us and sign up for a free account with them. They are remarkable. And keep in mind when you're going through that process, this is exclusively for professional photographers because that's the only people they serve. They're amazing. Sean, the owner and founder, is a remarkable remarkable human. He's become a close friend of mine and he tours the country teaching people how to thrive in business, how to create albums, how to use albums to serve your clients better. I've learned so much from him. And today I just want to introduce you to the design aspect of exactly how we import the photos, my thought process on designing albums and how I export them and send them to clients. So I'm excited to share that with you right now. And before we dive in, if you're thinking, okay, I know how to design albums already, or I'm super excited to design albums. But what do I do once I, I design that? I and you just want to dive in deeper. I created a free workshop for you linked below. It's the five ways that we use to make more money without needing to raise our prices. I'm all about raising your prices. I'm all about charging what you're worth. But sometimes it's nice just to maximize the client experience and the income from the clients and the business you already have. And that's exactly what I teach you in this workshop. And the fifth point, the fifth pillar, if you will, is our exact album system. So if you haven't yet, click on that link below, watch that workshop, and I'm gonna teach you our exact album service process that allows us to maximize profit and blow the client experience out of the water. That is linked below. But without any further ado, let's pull back into my screen here. I'm gonna introduce you into Kiss Books and I'm gonna show you exactly how I design every single client album. All right, my friends, here we are inside the Kiss Books designer. This is the back end of Kiss Books where you're gonna be getting very familiar with, spending plenty of time with, but right now I'm gonna specifically talk about how to get into the designer. And before we start, I just wanna give you the four basic things to keep in mind as I'm designing that will help guide you when you're designing. And they're the things that I always remember when I'm designing is one, First and foremost, over everything, 
tell the story. The point of an album, especially a wedding album, and even an engagement album or a family session album is to tell the story chronologically in a beautiful, emotional way. So one is tell the story, and two, leading into that with the story is lead with and choose the most emotional images. There are going to be spots for those big, beautiful, double spread, full page hero images that just draw on that emotion for being so epic. But as you're choosing the highlights and as you're going through the day of chronologically designing this album, make sure you're using emotional images because when someone sees this digitally and then in print, they're going to connect with the emotional images even if they're not the most epic of hero images in the album. Number three, we maximum use three images per page or six per spread. A spread is just two pages opened up left and right and no more than six on a spread. And most of the time I try to keep it into two to four and a lot of times one, as you'll see as we start to design. And the fourth thing in my experience as you're designing, it's gonna take around 40 to 60 pages to tell the entire story of a wedding day in an album. So just a quick recap, tell the story, use the most emotional images, maximum three images per page or six per spread, and four, it's gonna take about 40 to 60 pages as you're designing this album. So without any further ado, let's jam into Kissbooks here, and, and this is the back end of Kissbooks, you're gonna go up to my designs on the top left, and you're gonna hit create new, and it's gonna say create new design, what would you like to call this? We're gonna use our bride and groom, Eric and Meredith, so I'm gonna type in Meredith, and Eric and create and hit next. From there, this is an important part of this, uh, the process too. It says create new design. Do you have a finished design that you want to upload? As in, if you were using an external designer, you could even upload all those into the KISS designer so you could just order the album, not have to worry about the designing process. But in my experience, this is the best way to design an album. It's the best software I've used. It's also completely integrated with KISS Books, who makes the album. So we're gonna hit new design because I'm gonna show you how to start from scratch. The next page it brings up, um, from left to right, obviously, this is still the create new design page. Give it a name, we named it Meredith and Eric. And now here's the types of designs you can choose from. One, manual design, which was what we're going to be using. We're gonna do it from scratch ourselves, super easy, gonna show you how to do it. But I'm gonna give you the other two options just so you know what they're about. If you go into auto build, it even says right there, this option is good for portrait shots or books that don't have a strong story. My, my number one key is tell the story. So this is not an option. This would just auto populate a design. If you're for some reason just doing a, a hodgepodge montage of something that you don't care where the photos go, this is a great option. It's very efficient, but we're not going for that right now. We're going for telling a story. And then on the far right, there's the design for me. Remarkable service from Kissbooks for 49 bucks. They will outsource, you can outsource the design. They'll communicate with your clients. They'll order the album for you. Amazing. I'm all about outsourcing, but I'm also a huge believer of knowing what you're doing first before you outsource anything. And that's why we're gonna click manual design. Over here on default settings, if you wanna put a border, like a white or a black box border around each photo, that's where you do that here. I'm not a fan of that. So skip all the way over to image source. You're gonna hit manual design, go over to image source, and we're gonna go down to the bottom and we're gonna grab our images. So this would be the highlights folder or the album folder of images you have in your hard drive, in your computer. So you're gonna hit hard drive and that's gonna bring open this box here. And this is gonna allow you to drag in and select the images from your folder to start putting those into the designer. Just gonna go up here and hit select images. That's gonna bring up whichever browser and folder you want to grab your images from. In this case, it's James and Jess favorites. And as you can see, there's all the images. So I'm going to select this, choose it, select all, and hit choose. And that is going to upload all of those images inside the KISS designer for us to begin designing an album. 
So I'm gonna speed up this process, obviously, so we don't need to sit here for a few minutes, and I'll see you in the designer. All of the images are uploaded. We're gonna hit continue, and that's going to pull us into the actual designer. So it says your new design is ready to load into Kiss Designer. Load design. You can do later if you if you just feel like uploading now, but obviously we feel like designing now. So load design, and here we go. So this is the KISS Designer. You're gonna get very familiar with this. It is not complicated, but I just wanna walk you through this step. So you're very familiar with it as we just get started and you can start designing albums right now. So top left, obviously, title of the album. It's what we're editing. And this top scrolly bar here is all of the images. So you can just scroll across this whole thing and there's all of the images, which is just, it's so nice to be able to see them all up there. And then there's an important thing, this little hamburger menu in the top left, that's gonna pop out here. Uh, this is sorting, so the date, I always change it to file name because I always organize ours one through however many images. So I click file name, and that's gonna do it from start to finish or from oldest to newest because it's 001 all the way to however many it is. You can also show all the files up here. You can click all, you can see an unused, and you can see the used. I just keep those on because it actually tells me when I've already used an image, and just in case I wanna switch up a design, I can still have it as an option on top and I can delete the one in a different page later. Moving on from there, there's a settings tab here, there's a spreads tab, which I'll show you, you can pull back once we design spreads, and then there's this forward motion. So the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose the cover option. You can come back and switch all of this, but from the get-go, here's all of their options with leather. You can hit the linen key and there's all of these amazing linens as well. So we're actually gonna hit leather. I'm a big fan of this Brazil colored one or down here. There you go, I like that. And as you can see, there's these two buttons here which is cameo and customize. So if you click on that cameo window, it's gonna bring up an option here and you can take an image. So let's just take uh, one Let's go find one of the bride and groom and I'll show you exactly what this is. Those portraits are down here. So we'll grab this image, drag it down, and that is going to auto populate this and then you can move it around. So the cameo window is just that image that's cut out in front of it. I always use that. I think it's a nice intro. It's nice to visually be pleased just right on the get go. So that's the cameo. And then if you hit customize here, this is actually where you can use fonts and all kinds of things to put on here, embossing and debossing. Uh, so simple text, you can choose all kinds of fonts here. I always go with the Lavenderia regular. If it's uh, embossing, you can use colors, and I'm gonna type in Eric and Meredith, and let that load. And there you have it, there it is, right there. We've got the cover, you can come back and change this whenever you want. You can also click up here to engrave, which is just the indenting, no colors on there. And you can also move the height here from top left center, wherever you want on that page. So moving on from there, let's go back to debossing because that's what I want on the image. So there's their leather cover, there's their cameo image, there's their names. We're gonna hit this next button on the right here and that's just gonna bring it to the inside cover. I'll show you if you're looking here, it's like this in-between middle part before the first page here. And I always go with white, I think it's a much cleaner look. There's also the option, if you want to put your logo debossed on there, you can click that and upload your logo. So you can hit that and all of the albums is your crest or your name or your website, whatever you want that to look like. Moving on from there, let's get into actually designing the pages. So you're gonna hit this next arrow again and that's gonna open up a blank page. And this is where we actually get to start designing the album for our couple, for your clients, whoever it is. Remember rule one is telling the story. So we're gonna scroll back to the beginning and I'm gonna start with, they started with the details and the getting ready. So I wanna start telling the story and this is how you design. So I'm gonna pull in this dress here <clears throat> And from there, if you see down here on the bottom, there's all these options that you have. These are every single option you can use. 
inside the kiss designer and you can press the up or down arrows and that's going to give you all of these crops but i want more obviously than just the dress in here i want details of the dress going on i also want to lace in a few details maybe of this flat lay as well so i'm going to pull that into there and then from there it's just a matter of hitting this up and down keys to see what i like and how I want this to look. And if I want to swap out an image, I can go up here and I can drag in and switch the image there. And as you can see on the top, it says number one, one, one. That means I'm using this image on one page. If I drag that to another page, it'll turn red and say two, because if a client is investing in an album, they shouldn't have their image printed twice because it's using up valuable space and usually they can't even narrow it down to the images they want. So you want to put as many beautiful images in here as possible with the design still looking respectfully beautiful. And once I have the images I want, it's a matter of clicking the up and down arrows until I get exactly what I want. If I want to swap images within the design, drag them and they'll naturally replace each other. It's that simple. And one more thing to keep in mind, these books do lay flat. I mean, they go completely seamless. However, it doesn't mess with the color, but of course there's always a crease in the middle of any book, even though it's very minimal on this. So I just make sure there's no lines going down people's eyes or centers of faces so that when it does lay flat, there's no even temptation to look at a line going through a face. It's not even a question. So I like this design here. So I'm gonna add another page, which means I'm gonna go up to this plus button that says add. I'm gonna press the plus button. It's gonna open another page for me and I'm just going to move on. So I had Meredith the bride getting ready. So now I think I'm gonna swap over. I'm gonna bring Eric in here, press the space keys, the up and down keys to, to make room for that. And then I'm gonna scroll over and maybe find him with his groomsmen, kind of setting the tone there, which I like. Keep hitting these arrows until I find, there we go, swap these. I am happy with this. Moving on, telling the story chronologically, after they got ready, uh, the bride wanted to do a first look with her bridesmaids, so I'm gonna hit the plus button again, add another page. I'm gonna bring down this image of the bride smiling, portrait by the window, press the up arrow to space it out and move it, and then I'm gonna bring in the reaction of the bridesmaids and pair these together as best I can. Keep in that up arrow until it lands on something I like. Oh, we're close. We are close. I actually like that. I like how their eyes are directed towards this photo of the bride and she looks amazing. So we're just gonna stick with that. After that, say the first look happened. So we're gonna add another page and this is where we're gonna start to draw a lot of emotion with the first look. Uh, so I'm gonna bring out where are these? Here they are. His reaction was priceless. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to bring him in. We're going to bring in a few first look images. Bam, just like that. Uh, let's replace that. If you ever want to get rid of image, just hit the trash can button and it'll, pull, it'll not get rid of it. It'll just get rid of it from that spread. I'm going to pull in one more first look image that I like is this one. Keep moving the pages around. Kind of want that horizontal one in the middle, so I'm just gonna wait until that happens, just with all these designs. And if you ever want to scroll, just on this bottom, you can scroll through all these designs if you know you're looking for a specific one. But that is actually the look I want. I think that's very beautiful. I'm gonna hit another page. And say I wanted, they took a, we took a portrait of them, so I'm gonna drag in this portrait right here. And see, I used that earlier in the cover, so that's on the Cameo, so it's okay to use it twice, obviously. But I actually want this one to be full page spread, and as you can see, the line in the middle is not going down eyes or any significant part of the face since his is turned for a profile. And this is gonna be one of those big, full bleed spreads that just shocks and just is beautiful. I slip at least three to five in there every single album because in my opinion, they're the most beautiful images and it's the most beautiful way to experience is just every inch of the page. And this is how you're going to design your albums. You're gonna keep hitting that plus button until you go through the entire design and tell the entire story 
of the wedding day. It's that simple. A couple more cool things here is you can hit this up here on the top left next to the settings button. There's the spreads. Like I said, if you click that, it'll pull back and it will show you all of the spreads. So if you wanted to actually maybe put the first look with the bridesmaids before the groom getting ready, you can hit this hand and just drag it over swaps those pages so you don't have to redesign any pages and if you are just thinking you know what i want to get rid of this completely hit that trash can button and it'll zap that page you can always drag the images and recreate the page but that's a very efficient way to pull back on the album just like you were looking at it physically and tear out pages or move the pages around seamlessly that's a very powerful tool inside of here i want to show you a couple more things so we're going to press add one more time and let's go over and get a few portraits of them. I love this bouquet. I want a portrait of her. I want some details of him walking and maybe pull in one of them inside. So there's four and then let's pull in a horizontal just so we can get a variety here. See, you can see so many things. I want to switch those like that. Actually, I like that over there. Maybe, oh wait, let's get both their portraits here. Yes, I love that. I'm gonna draw some emotion here. And I actually, let me swap that. Get that laughter, get that bouquet here. And actually, that's good, I want that. So, if you ever wanted there to be bigger gaps in between the photos, just in between up here where it says gap, you can pull this. And as you can see, it starts to create, it does crop a little bit more. I put it at the narrowest because I think the small clean lines are a lot better, but if it's your style, go for it. That's, it's as easy as that. So friends, that's how you design inside the Kiss Designer. It's that easy. You just keep hitting this plus button, keep dragging in the images. So if you wanted the bridal party, I wanna bring in this. Actually, I'm gonna use the other bridal party photo. So I'm gonna just pull that in. Bam, bridal party done. I, I really think this is the shot to use. And say that line is just creasing down his face just a little bit, all I would have to do is go up here to the top left and you can zoom, this is the zoom. I would just zoom in a little bit so that they're directly centered. The line is down the middle without any faces being in there and it's that easy to keep designing these pages. So I'm gonna go through this, I'm gonna design this as the full wedding day, 40 to 60 pages, and then I'm gonna show you how to use the slideshow that you actually have a digital version of this so you can share with the bride and groom. You can set it to music. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So I'm gonna finish designing this, go back into the back into the Kiss Designer and show you how to finish this off. I just wanna show you one more thing important in here. Say you wanted more images. If you go up to this hamburger menu, you have to click this add images up there and then it'll bring up the same folder. You can drag any images you want inside of here so you can add more images. Sometimes that's just a little tricky to find because it's a small button, but that's exactly how you do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this design, just the whole story from start to finish, and then I'm gonna show you going back into the Kiss Books editor, the back end of it outside of the designer, and I'm gonna show you how to put music to the slideshow and I'm gonna show you how to export that slideshow so it's a link that you can send to your clients and just start to awe them with this amazing gallery. So I've wrapped up the design on this and if I just keep hitting this back arrow all the way to the front, it's gonna do this little circle thing and it's going to auto save it. Now if you look up at this top right corner, it says design auto saves, you can close this window at any time. 100%, it's always worked for me. But after I do all that hard work, if I just click back to the beginning, I know it does that and I see it done. I know it officially auto saves. I've never had a problem with it. I just like to double check. So when I'm done designing this, I just hit this X button and it's gonna take me back to this window right here. It should look super familiar. And then you're just gonna do a couple things on this. So as you can see, there's this slideshow button here. That's the button we're gonna click that's gonna generate that link. But first, something remarkable that KissBooks does is that they allow you to play music to the slideshow. So if you go up here, to this little slideshow cog, the settings, and go down. Enable slideshow will be clicked on. Keep that on, never unclick that button because 
They can't find the slideshow unless you give them the link anyways. That button should always stay on. If you want to password protect this gallery, this is where you would put that in the viewing password. You put Eric and Meredith or password, whatever the password you want in there if you only want specific people to see the slideshow. But for right now, the important one is you want to actually password protect the commenting and pricing password. I will teach you that another time. That's a whole story for another day of how to price these things and, and all that. But right now you don't want them to be able to click the unlock button on that slideshow that I'll show you that shows them how to comment on the album. Right now you just want to send them the slideshow so they can witness it for all the beauty that you designed it to be their story from start to finish. So I'm just going to type in Eric and Meredith as the password and I'll show you how that works when we pull into the slideshow. Other than that, seconds per slide, I keep it five seconds. I do not want them to rush through this. And the other thing right down here, keep everything else off and you can hit music. It usually starts with no song, but you're going to go down and these are all free options that Kissbooks has generated royalty free that you can play, that you can post. So generous and amazing. That's just included with Kissbooks for free just for being a member. And I always go with the Daniel Ho Little Heaven Instrumental, and that sets it. You can also go back and press play, and you can listen to each song just so you know. If you want to put your very own music into this, like their first dance song perhaps, game winner, I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick, and then I'm gonna pull you into the slideshow and just show you how wonderful it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to edit design profile up here and you're going to click that that's going to open up this whole back page where you can upload your images choose your preferences and all those amazing things and then you're going to go over to the bottom right corner where it says music and you're going to press add once you add that you can click choose file upload the specific mp3 or whatever style file it says file must be mp3 upload the mp3 press save refresh go back to that page and it's going to have that option so recently i uploaded a song that i want to use here so i would go back i would go to the settings i'd go here and then on the top would be all of your music here so ray la montagne here one of the most popular wedding songs ever so that's uploaded in there whenever that's their first dance song i set that to it but just for consistency's sake i'm going to go back to the song i chose and it's set all you have to do from there now is hit this slideshow button and it's going to pull you into the slideshow so here we are inside the album we designed as you can see i ended up choosing a linen cover and a different photo and i put their date as well but how awesome is this? This is actually what it looks like here. So when you send this link, this is the link that, this is the client view. And what I say in the email is, hey, here's your slideshow. It's set to music, turn the music up, pour yourself a glass of wine and press play. And the way I do it, this slideshow is the first impression that our clients get of their full story. So make sure the volume's up. So if you just press play, music goes and it starts to play through their album that's the white pre cover the in between pages we chose it's either light or dark and it begins and this just goes through the entire slideshow they can also come down here and click through it limits the music but they can just keep going back and seeing those pages and hit play whenever they want and the music starts remember when i said earlier we put that lock button that password later in the album process when we're going back and forth and asking for adjustments they can come down here and press this lock button to make comments but if you press that now it's password protected and that way most of the time no one even clicks on it but if they try it, it's nothing, it doesn't even let them in, and they're just enjoying this slideshow. So my friends, that right there is how you design albums. That's how easy Kissbooks is. It's literally a matter of dragging photos in, clicking the up and down arrow keys until you find a template you like, and that's it, it even generates that beautiful slideshow. And if you're ready and just thinking, I, I wanna go a little bit further with albums and learn a little bit more, click the link below and it's for my free workshop of five ways to make more money without raising your prices. And the fifth one in there, I map out our entire album process that we use to serve all of our clients with 
every single wedding and I would love for you to check that out. Until the next video, I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Know that you are capable of great and amazing things and I will see you in the next episode.